What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So I saw somebody put this topic up on Facebook, and I thought it was interesting interesting to discuss because a lot of people closely associated with me have had this happen to them personally, right? Um, the young woman put on Facebook, a lot of black men really had their first sexual experiences with pedophiles and were manipulated into thinking it was a badge of honor, right? I'm, I'm For real, man. One close friend of mine lost his virginity in a situation where his older cousins were running a train on a woman, a grown woman. She was allowing these men to take turns having sex with to take turns having sex with her. And then she allowed the young boy that was 12 years old to climb on top of her and insert his penis in her and thrust on her. Right? And I was like, wow. Like, you know what I mean? And and, and the individuals, the cousins were sick as well. Cause I'm like, you really gonna turn your little cousin on? It's a super, super sexual activity like this at 12 years old. And we should be just outside playing basketball, just chilling, playing a video game or whatever. You got your little cousin experiencing sex with a grown woman, right? That's going to change his mind and F, F up his mind forever, forever, ever, right? Then you're a grown woman. You're allowing a little boy to jump on top of you and, and engage in a sexual act with him as if it's cool. You know what I mean? As if it won't damage this boy and really, really hypersexualize him. From that point on, um, another situation. One of my other close friends. Um, I remember he told me he told me a situation with this grown woman. This grown woman. She was um, uh, basically she was a woman that was known for getting around in the neighborhood, right? His cousins. Also, it's another situation with another person and their older cousins were getting fellatio from this woman right and they told their little cousin who was about 11 at the time to go ahead and, and, and get some fellatio from this grown woman as well and the grown woman engaged in the act with the 11 year old boy right and i'm like what the hell is going on like for real another one of my homies was 12 having sex with like a 17 a 17 going on 18 year old uh young woman at that point right and it's like, damn, like, I'm not thinking like, what was this 17 year old woman attracted to? And my boy was a, a kid. It was vis like he was bigger for his age, but it was visible that he was a kid, baby face and all of that. He was just tall and everything like that. And she knew he was 12 years old. She was 17 going on 18 and still had sex with this man, with this young, this boy. Right. I'm like, wow. Like, but see, in the hood, we are tricked into thinking that at them ages of 11 and 12, we supposed to be sexually active. We supposed to be having sex with a girl that we like him, right? By the old heads of the, the, the fake OGs. I call them fake OGs because they don't do nothing but sending you off in the wrong direction, which could harm them forever, right? And I'm thinking about my homeboys and situations like my homeboy that had to, was running a train uh, that was involved. He lost his virginity when his cousin was running a train on a girl. And I'm like, that shit's sick as hell because I know there wasn't no condom usage involved. And I'm just thinking in my head like, wow, what if this young boy would have, like my, what if my homeboy would have, caught a sexually transmitted disease from this grown woman because obviously she's just letting people just get all up in her like that that's wild you know what i'm saying and the cousins and you know they probably went to clean as individuals at all you know so it's just like damn like what the hell at that point right then i'm thinking about like my other homie that lost his that uh not lost his virginity but had fellatio performed on him he could have caught something too right but even beyond that beyond the disease beyond all of that type of stuff right you hypersexualize a child, and at this point, they are they are engaging with other people of the opposite sex that are that are their age, and they're well beyond their years in conversation. They're trying to have sexual conversations with girls who are eleven and twelve years old, and you're like, "What the hell are you trying to?" They trying to talk like for real. And I remember my homeboys telling me when they was twelve years old, and after they had them experiences, they thought that this is what girls were supposed to be doing to them at that point, right? So they would bring certain stuff up at certain times. It's like, what the fuck? Like, and then they realized now that they were fucked up for real because they thought this is what was going to happen. Now them girls are looking at them like, oh, hell no. Nah, what are you talking about? Right. But they got messed up because they were having experiences that they weren't supposed to be having at a super, super young age. And they're just like, man, like I, I at that point, I'm, I'm trying to talk to a girl. I'm trying to get around to some sex stuff. And she is just completely like, what are you talking about? Right. What the hell are you on? I remember my homeboys had some of these experiences and they would come and tell me certain stuff. And I'm looking like, nah, fam, what? The, I thought they was lying. Like, what the what the hell? Like, nah, bro, we still 
outside playing basketball, we still playing a video game and all that, which we should have been doing at those ages, which I was still doing at that age. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 17 years old, which is completely late, much later than a lot of my friends did, right? So, and, and it wasn't to no grown woman, for sure. It was a woman, uh, uh, woman close to my age, you know what I mean, who eventually became uh, my, my uh, daughter's mother, right? But at the same time, it's just like, what in the world? Like, what, like, the, you see how those, th it's, a, it's a domino effect. You put a child in a situation where they doing something with a, a grown woman, a grown woman is doing something to a child or allowing, engaging in a sexual act with a young boy, and now... His sexual senses is just urging. Now, he is trying to sexually thrive with young girls who are supposed to be maintaining their innocence. So now, the dudes in the hood, although they was encouraging uh, encouraging us, these stupid-ass dudes, and, and, and the crazy cousins, the ignorant-ass dudes that was encouraging us and trying to put us in situations to have sex with grown women that are having sex at a young age or the grown women trying to prey on young boys, all that stuff that was going on, now... After the dudes in the hood was encouraging it, they trying to that now they getting upset because them same dudes that they were encouraging to be having sex are trying to have sex with their daughters, right? They on the phone with their daughters, these OGs, these fake OGs, they on the phone with their daughters talking about asking them what's their favorite sexual position, what they favorite, you know, um, what they like to do sexually, and we 12 years old. Now them old heads that was encouraging sexual behavior amongst the shorties in the youth, now they mad now, now they pissed. Now they're ready to fight. Now they're ready to go bring a gun and all this and all of that. But you should have been just you shouldn't have been encouraging that bullshit in the first place, right? Because look, me, I'm a father now of two children. I have a daughter and a son, a young, young boy, about to turn one years old. And when my son gets 12 and 13 and 14, I don't want him having sex. I really don't. I don't give a fuck. And I know most fathers would be like, oh man, it's like it's a cool talking point, like it's a rite of passage that his son is trying to um, you know, possibly lose his virginity at a young age. I don't want that shit associated with my son because that that comes with um, hypersexualization as well as young fatherhood, which I want my child to just live his uh, live a life, live his life normally, um, and be able to be a kid, be a kid, and have all the experiences and not be a young teenage father. I don't want that. I don't want that for my son. You know what I mean? I don't want him hy being hypersexualized to the point where he is trying to do certain things with a with a young girl that they shouldn't even be talking about. It shouldn't even be. It shouldn't even be on their mind, right? But a lot of black boys that I know were engaging in, in sexual acts with women who were pedophiles, who like basically violated them, violated them, took their innocence, and ever since that innocence got taken, now they're on a streak of trying to break other young girls out of their own innocence, right? Now they're not into. It's not pedophile behavior with the kids because. They still they're trying to engage in sexual acts with girls that, that are that are their own age, but at the same time, you're trying to basically force them into sexual not force, but you're trying to encourage sexual situations and sexual encounters when it shouldn't even been present in your mind in the first place. It shouldn't. And it, it got triggered from you being it got triggered from them young black boys engaging in sexual acts with women who were pedophiles. And a lot of people don't even talk about women being pedophiles a lot because it's taboo, right? When we were kids, we knew all young boys, we had teachers that we looked at and we was like, man, I love to be with this one. I love to kiss my teacher. Woo -woo. That's stuff that young boys fantasize about. But had that, uh, had that occurred for real when we were kids, we would have been looking at it like, damn. Like, and you would think about it like, this shit was crazy. This woman really was like a pedophile if you think about it, right? And I'm, and, and, and like I said, I, I'm concerned about it because at that point, like, I got a young daughter, right? Even, even if I didn't have a daughter, um, I got sisters, you know, I, I I got nieces and so on and so forth, right? Little cousins. And you haven't, like, them type of behaviors, that when stuff like that go on, when uh, a, a young man is turned on to sex from a, woman, a pedophile, you know what I'm saying? A woman who's a pedophile, he starts trying to be, he starts becoming hypersexualized and he's trying to has sex and trying to discuss sexual positions and all type of sexual talks with my little sister, with my little cousins, with my little nieces and so on and so forth, with, with my daughter. And I'm going to definitely have a problem with that. I ain't letting that shit fly at all, right? But yeah, in the hood, when a young dude was having sex with, um, when a young dude was having sex with a grown woman, he's tricked into thinking that, oh shit, you the man. You feel me? You the man, you the man because you was able to get this grown woman to be enamored with you sexually. But it's, for real, 
she probably was already, she's just a sick person. You know what I'm saying? She just already just like, why? She, and you ain't even, we ain't thinking it because we thinking it's cool. But when we grown, you're looking like, damn, why this grown ass woman? Because had that been our sister or somebody doing something like that, we'd be looking at her like, why your grown ass interested in a little ass boy? Why you want a little boy? Why you, what are you attracted to about a little boy? You know what I mean? That's the type of questions we would have to ask if that was like, if the woman committing these uh, acts of pedophilia was our cousins or our auntie or our sisters or whatever like that, you know what I mean? We'd be looking at her like, what the fuck is wrong with you, right? So, yeah, man, it, but it, it happens a whole lot. Like, I know so many dudes in the hood who had sexual experiences with grown, grown women. It was 15, having sex with a grown-ass woman, right? You know what I'm saying? 15, having sex with a 28-year-old woman that got kids and is married. Like, what the fuck? And I know somebody did that, that that happened too. You know what I'm saying? I know somebody that was 15 having sex with a 28, 29 year old woman who was married. And it's like, what the fuck is going on at that point? You know, but after that, that kid becomes like, hey, look, shit, they, they got a badge of honor on their sleeve and they start feeling like, hey, I can have sex with, shoot, I can do, I I know if I can do that, shoot. I mean, I don't see why other girls, they feel like that's the right thing that they should be doing. They should be having sex from then on, that from that point on, and they feel like that's how all women operate. You know what I'm saying? Because this grown woman is having sex and she doing this stuff to me, then shoot, maybe the other girls my age should be doing it too. And they start trying to encourage the behavior. The conversations start coming up on a frequent basis until the woman starts feeling like, and until, until they get encouraged so much that the young girl, she starts becoming manipulated to think, damn, maybe I should be doing this because this dude was doing this with a grown woman and maybe that's what grown women do. And then you got a domino effect of all type of negative bullshit that occurs in the hood happen, oh, happening all over and over again, right? Young boy loses his virginity early to a woman that's a pedophile. He starts engaging in sexual acts with a girl that's 12, 13 years old that they shouldn't be engaging in in the first place. She becomes pregnant. They have a baby. The dude is too young to take, really too young to really process the the, the right way to be a father. And he goes out and, and if he don't got no good family structure, he goes out and runs off on his responsibilities, creating a negative cycle in the hood, right? Or even worse, you know what I'm saying? The dude engaging in some type of sexual uh, encounter so, so often with grown women, he starts seeking and seeking it, and these grown women could possibly have something, you know what I mean? Could possibly and, and give them a sexually transmitted disease. He passing it around, all that type of bullshit. It just a whole bunch of crazy stuff that can, that can occur with those situations, man. So I'm just not for the hyper hypersexualization of young children, period. You know what I mean? But I know a lot of black men who are hypersexualized from the get go. From the get-go, man, this is why I didn't agree with Boosie out here trying to get his young son, get his young son to get head from a grown woman. You know what I'm saying? Because what that what what does that encourage now? Now the young boy 15, he won't head from a girl 15 too. He like she needs to be doing this and do that like that grown woman was. And now you create like a, just some just all type of frenzy and some bullshit, man. I don't, and I don't sign. I'm not with that. I don't sign up for it. I don't agree with it at all. Like I said before. My four, my son, when he's one year old, he's about to be one years old now. I do not want him having sex at 14, 15 years old. I just don't. I don't. When he does want to have sex, I want him to come to me and we can talk about it in a way to protect himself properly. But I don't want him having sex at no young age. I'm not trying to be no super, super young grandfather. I want him to live his life. I don't want him to be making all type of irrational decisions. I don't want him to be able to lead a, a regular, normal life and not be a teenage father. And, and, and go off to college and so on and so forth with no issues. That's what I want for my child, man. I don't want my young boy to be hypersexualized hyper to ruin another young woman's uh, life by getting her pregnant and getting her to be turned out on all type of sexual stuff and all of that. Now the young girl, a nymphomaniac, he a sex addict, all that type of stuff. I don't need that. I don't want that. I don't, I don't, that's not something that I want my child to be having or experiencing. I don't want him to encourage another young woman to be in them type of behaviors as well, man. That's just my opinion. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.